Hi, third grade, it's Mr. Barrett. Today's our first video of day one called Setup and Sort. Today we're going to dump out a huge cup of change, take some time to play with it, make a tower, uh, make some patterns, anything you want to do to just kind of uh, mess around with it for a little bit. Then we're going to begin to sort each type of coin uh, and record our information in a table. And we're also going to make some predictions about how many coins we think there are and then add them all up. So what do you need today? You need a huge cup of change. I bet that somewhere in your house, there's a big cup of change that has collected coins for many, many years. Get it out. Uh, we're gonna use that today and on through the next uh, couple weeks uh, to uh, do some activities uh, with decimals. You need some small cups. I'm using these little tiny like uh, uh, kitchen cups for extra ingredients when you're cooking. Uh, you can use muffin cups, anything like that that you have around, even just small like juice glasses. Uh, paper and pencil. And if you want, you can print out the day one activity page that goes along with this lesson. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to take your big cup of change and dump it out. Okay. And then I want you to pause this video. I want you to take some time to play with it, mess around. See if you can make a really long, nice pattern. See if you can make kind of like a tile floor with all of these different ones so none of them are laying on top of each other. Uh, and sort them all out that way. See how much space it takes up. Maybe you'd like to make a big tower and see how many coins you can put in every single tower before it topples over. Uh, take some time to pause and just play. Now that you've had some time to play, I want you to make an estimation. I want you to study that big pile of coins that you have on your table and think, how many coins are there? How many coins might there be? You might use some strategies like just taking a wild guess. You might take study it really hard and say, okay, well, there's about uh, maybe 10 right there. And that would make, how many piles of 10 do I think are there? Maybe 20, 30, 40, 50. Just make a, make a guess at how many coins you think there are and then write down your answer here. I'd like you to write it in a complete sentence that says, I think there are this many coins. And the next thing I'd like you to do is make a prediction. Based on the coins that you see that you've dumped out on the table, I want you to make a prediction of which type of coin is there the very most of. Do you think that your pile has more pennies, more nickels, more dimes, more quarters, uh, more coins from a different country, if your uh, cup of change has anything like that, more dollar coins, uh, whatever you think there's the very most of, I'd like you to write that in a complete sentence that says, I think there are more this type of coin than any other coin in my pile. Do that now. Next, we're gonna sort the coins. We're gonna classify them into groups and then uh, count them up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin to sort them out by putting the ones that look similar uh, into one pile. So I'm going to take all the pennies here. I'm going to begin gathering them over here. Then I'm going to start to take my nickels, move them over here, and my dimes come over here, and my quarters over here. And then as I just see coins that are kind of spun out of this pile, I'm going to slide them into the right category. Now the next thing I'd like you to do is to organize your uh, use our little cups to organize our coins so we can kind of keep them straight. So I'm going to He's not that they're all organized. Uh, and I'm going to start putting them into these cups. And then I'm going to take my nickels, put them into a different cup here, and my dimes into a different cup, and so on. The next thing I'd like you to do is to count each one of the cups and record how many of each type in a table that looks something like this. So uh, we have very few quarters in mind, so I'm going to start there with quarters uh, and, and take a look. Looks like I've got one, only one, two, three, four quarters in my entire pile. I must have taken those out at some point and done something else. Um, so I'm going to write four quarters right here. And then I'm going to take my dimes. I'm going to count those up. See how many of those are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And the one I dropped on the floor makes 16, 16 dimes. I'd like you to pause now and uh, complete this yourself. See how many of each type you have. Now that I have my coins all counted up, I'm ready to find the total number of coins I have. What I'm gonna do is add up all of these numbers by stacking them up. The tens on top of the tens, the ones on top of the ones. and adding them up. Three and six make nine, and four more make 13. That's three ones and one 10. One 10 and two 10s and one more 10 makes four 10s. 
I have 43 coins in my stack. Now what I'd like you to do is to think about the estimation and the prediction that you made earlier. First, the estimation. I asked you to guess earlier how many coins there were in total. How close were you? Were you off by a lot? Were you off by more than 100? Sometimes, uh, with as many coins as you probably have in a, in a change cup, uh, it might be really hard to estimate. So don't feel bad if you're off by a whole lot, uh, but kind of an interesting question. How, how close was your estimate? Next thing I'd like you to think about is your prediction. You predicted which type of coin there would be the very most of. Uh, were you correct? Were you even close? These are good questions to ask as we continue to refine our estimation uh, and prediction skills when we, when we count uh, and look, especially in big quantities. It's kind of tricky. That's all for today, my friends. Uh, that completes day one of setting up and sorting your coins. In day two and beyond, we're going to use just the dimes and the pennies to talk about decimals. We're going to compare decimals. We're going to add and subtract decimals. Uh, we're going to do lots of fun activities with them. So keep those dimes and pennies handy in the future. And if you're looking for an extra challenge today, maybe in addition to counting up that massive pile of coins that you worked hard to do, you could attempt to figure out how much money, how much value that pile of coins has. And if you've got a pretty big pile, that might be a pretty big task. Maybe you could just take part of that pile and figure out how much it is. You could maybe estimate how much you think it is and then try and count it up. So if you're looking for an extra challenge today, give that a try. I'll see you all tomorrow.